Welcome, tech enthusiasts, to another exciting exploration in the world of Linux distros. Today, we're delving into the realm of Peppermint Mini, a featherweight Linux distribution packed with all the essentials. Let's dive right in. Peppermint OS has long been hailed as one of the most lightweight and flexible Linux distributions. It's the go-to choice for those seeking a distro that conserves space while offering the freedom to customize to their heart's content. The recent release of Peppermint OS is built on the rock-solid foundation of Debian 12. This upgrade brings a host of crucial improvements, resulting in an even smoother and more responsive experience. But hold on, the story doesn't end there. The brilliant minds behind Peppermint OS have introduced a new variant, Peppermint Mini. This addition provides even greater control over your distro, all within a tiny, streamlined ISO size. Come, join me as we explore the ins and outs of Peppermint Mini. Peppermint Mini offers a compelling alternative to its full-fledged counterparts, with a remarkably compact size ranging from 100 to 180 megabytes. These Mini builds utilize the Debian installer for a net installation. As the developers put it, these builds are intended for that user who really wants to control how their installs are conducted. If you're familiar with the Debian installer, you'll feel right at home, but with that signature Peppermint touch. They've crafted both 32-bit and 64-bit builds in two distinct flavors, Debian and Devon. The installer experience mirrors the main Peppermint OS build, with one key difference. Now, you have the power to choose your desktop environment, init system, zone storage server, and more. Interested in a sneak peek? I took the Debian-flavored mini ISO for a spin, and I must say, I was impressed. Language, region, network configuration, and mirror selection, all the familiar steps. The installer effortlessly configured the network and offered a range of mirrors for downloading the Debian archive. setting up root and user passwords, just like the conventional build. Partitioning disks, simple and straightforward, just like you'd expect. The base system installation kicked off, taking its time. The Debian variant was a bit faster in my tests. Now comes the fun part, choosing your software. I went with the pre-selected options, but you have a buffet of desktop environments to choose from. More choices, more control. And just like that, installation complete. I booted into Peppermint OS without a hitch. So there you have it, Peppermint Mini. A fantastic option if you crave more control over your Peppermint OS installation. Just ensure your internet connection is up for the task. Head over to the official website to learn more about this exciting release. Don't forget to scroll down to the mini, build section to grab your preferred image. Until next time, happy exploring, and may your Linux journey be filled with endless possibilities.